Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about how to configure email notification in Jenkins. Let's get into the demo. So once we have installed Jenkins successfully, you have to install email plugin. You have to go to manage plugins available search with email the email extension template you have to install this plugin once this configuration changes is done once email is added whatever you are going to configure email you have to do two step verification on for this one mail manage your google accounts security here two step verification is off right we have to make sure turn on get started it will ask the password you have to provide the password next and you will get a OTP you have to enter that OTP and turn on okay now it is turn on now you need to do one more thing in the same two step verification you have to create app password for this one if you scroll down app passwords select app i am going with other and name of the app you have to give any name i am giving jenkins demo generate this password we have to use in the email password while configuring the jenkins so i am keeping in somewhere in the notepad So now you have to go to Jenkins configure system. If you scroll down, there is a email notification. You have to provide the email server. So SMTP dot gmail dot com. And uh, you have to scroll down advance use SMTP authentication. You have to provide your uh, mail ID. I am going to provide my mail ID. And the password which is generated, right? The app password, you have to use that password. This is the password I am going to use. And use SSL. And SMTP port is 465. And uh, reply to email address. I am going to use the same mail address and the test I am going to use test mail id if test configuration was success you will get a mail you can check here the test mail is success and once these changes are done you have to use you have to configure email extended email notifications the same configuration you have to use smtp.gmail.com and smtp port you have to use 465 advanced the credentials you have to configure your uh, gmail credentials username password the username password you have to use the mail id and the password you have to use the app password which we generated and you have to mention gmail credentials the id the description also same i am going to use gmail configuration gmail credentials add 
so you have to use this credentials use SSL and advanced email properties if you want to use this you can use and default email user email suffix okay if you want to use all this configuration you can use otherwise go down and uh, default triggers okay currently the failure only failure any it is going to send a mail I just wanted to always and uh, build success this okay whenever these things happen it is going to trigger the uh, send a email okay in my Jenkins now I create one job mail test I'm going with freestyle option so I'm going to add one execute cell echo good morning China so simple message and uh, post build actions editable email notification so project from and uh, project recipient uh, list here I am going to add my mail ID so like this if you want to add any other mail IDs you can add and uh, project replay list okay you can add the content type okay and the default subject and default content so like this you can add and apply send and build now if build is success console output and uh, it is sending email to bc ready devops one if you go here build is successful and you can check console output as well so similar way if build is failed suppose configure So this command doesn't know the system right good morning so if you try to trigger build it will fail see build is fail it is a command not phone so even for failure case also you will be able to get the build gmail this is the job name and build number and the failure status okay like this we have to configure the gmail to send a notification so that's all about in this session if you like the video please share and subscribe thanks for watching bye